Hey everyone, Mayhem Prone here from the Mayhem Prone Show, where today I love TF2 Analysis Anarchy. It's one of the best MLP fan theories on all of YouTube, and this theory will involve major spoilers. So if you haven't seen the series, make sure to go watch it first, then come back to this theory. With that being said, let's get right into this. Ever since I saw Seven Nation Army for the first time ever, one line in particular has really bugged me. Listen, you. I don't appreciate that little stunt with the robots you pulled. I have petty revenge I need to satiate, and you sticking your freckled nose into it despite the mercenaries was just rude. Did you catch it? Well, I wouldn't blame you if you didn't. It's very subtle. But if you listen closely, he doesn't say the mercenary, he says the mercenaries. But wait, Dusty Cat's the only mercenary that we saw. So I went back throughout the whole series and rewatched it, trying to figure out if there was ever a second mercenary. And I came to the conclusion that one of the team members must be a traitor, due to the fact that all other minor characters had so insignificant roles they couldn't have been the mercenary. So I pondered and I pondered and I watched through the entire series, every episode including the newest one, and I came to the conclusion that the second mercenary and the traitor to the team is none other than Finn. Dun dun dun! Now you must think I'm a total psychopath for accusing the nicest guy in the entire series of being the villain, but just hear me out, it all makes sense. First of all, every new addition to the TF2 team introduced in the series had a somewhat detailed backstory to either A how they got there, or B why they were volunteering for the team. All except for Finn. He just randomly showed up one day enthusiastically asking to be on the team, which seems a little bit suspicious in my eyes. Second of all, Finn abandons the team without any complaint or remorse the second Dr. Wolf calls him for help. Finn then expresses regret for his decision while he's assisting Dr. Wolf, saying that he wants to go back and help the team. This sudden change of heart always confused me, but when I applied the context of Finn being evil, it all made sense. Finn abandoned the team because he believed that they would all be quickly slaughtered by Dusty Cat in the robot army, and that he could take on Dr. Wolf alone. At this point, Finn realizes two things. One, Dr. Wolf is stronger than he thought, and two, the plan is to teleport the entire team out of the city. Finn then offers to return to the town to help the team. This benefits him in two ways. One, if he was allowed to return, Dr. Wolf would most likely not have the support he needs to make it to the teleport spot and would likely fall to the army of robots dooming the entire team. In addition, this makes Finn look like he's trying to protect the entire team and take care of them to the best of his ability. This would make Dr. Wolf trust him a lot more because it makes Finn look like an amazing person. And as anyone would know, trust is one of the most important assets a traitor can have. Now we move on to the most recent episode, A Helping Hoof. Now watch this scene and tell me what's wrong. Right, that's it! Finn, hold me back! Okie dokie! I'm gonna beat you so hard, Red won't be missing for the rainbows! <laughs> when I'm finished with you, you'll be black and red and left for dead! Let me at him! Let me at him! Alrighty. <laughs> Finn? I think you're missing the basic point here. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. You sure? Yes! This is my problem with the clip. Across the entire series, Finn is portrayed to be overly nice, and his over-niceness has caused him to get into trouble. But across the entire series, Finn has never been shown to be stupid or ignorant. In fact, he's one of the smartest characters on the show, showing how he mastered the engineering kit almost instantly, faster than any other of the new members mastered their kits. So why wouldn't he get such an obvious reference that's been used in media for hundreds of years? The answer is, he almost definitely would not miss this reference, meaning he was releasing Lightning Bliss on purpose. This actually makes sense in the Finn is Evil theory because he's trying to see discourse between the team members. The whole point of taking on new members on the team was to increase cohesiveness between all of its members and to spar, so Finn is trying to sabotage that by trying to make the members fight. In the end, when Finn realizes that Toon and Bliss aren't actually going to fight, he calms down her to make him look more like a team player, which makes him seem more trustworthy, so either way, he wins. And a final small point of evidence I'd like to put out is the fact that he drops Toon's milkshake, 
Remember, this is the same Finn that carried more than half a dozen drinks to the crew at the same time during Seven Nation Army. So I think he'd be able to hold on to drinks better, leading me to believe that he probably dropped the milkshake on purpose to upset Toon. But what do you think? Is it possible that Finn is actually a double agent working for the enemy? Please leave a comment in the section below to tell me your opinion. If you have time, please share this with Dr. Wolf, Lightning Bliss, and Finn the Pony, because we need answers. We need to know if this theory is actually true. The Must Watch Pony video of the week goes to Aeon of Dreams for the second Lightning Bliss magic lesson. It's funny, interesting, and potentially the startup of a really interesting story arc. And until next time, I'm Mayhem Prone from the Mayhem Prone Show, and goodbye.